All right, guys. Um, this is Round Up Church. Uh, he's being harassed and stalked by Jeremy Bloodhound Long from Ashland City Police in Tennessee. And being the fact that he's a Tennessee native and he's representing Tennessee and I like his music, um, I got to pull for the guy. So anyway, if we can give this guy some help, let's give him some help. But let's check this video out real quick. Uh, and uh, here we go. I'm starting to have an issue with this cop that works in Ashland City Police Department named Jeremy Long that is acting really strange. His actions are weird. Some of the stuff he says just sounds really dumb. And honestly, I just want to document this and show y'all everything real quick just to document it. Documentation is everything. And I don't know, dude. I don't know if he hates me. I don't know if he has a problem with me. I don't even fucking know the dude. So all this started like six or seven months ago. I had some hometown people that I know from around here that called me and were like, dude, I just got pulled over and the cop asked me if I knew you. And when I told him, yeah, why? He asked me to call you. Me. Me. And I was like, what? Why? They were like, I don't know. He just insisted that I call you. And I was like, well, that's fucking weird. Could you imagine? Like, you know why I pulled you over? No. Why? Uh, well, do you know Ryan Upchurch? Yeah. Well, can you call him? Uh, no. Okay, so next thing, my buddy Deardorff. If you've ever seen my YouTube videos or my Instagram, I know you've seen my buddy Deardorff. My buddy Deardorff was at a party like four or five months ago, and he was at our buddy's house down the street. About half a mile away lives his sister. So he parked his truck at his sister's house, a truck that I gave him a while back because he's my homie. Deardorff is a freak about tags and titles. Love you, Deardorff. But you are, which is a good thing. Darrell is a freak about tags and titles. When I gave him the truck, he got it tagged and titled in his name. So as Deardorff is at this party down the street, away from his truck, his sister calls him and is like, yo, police want you to come down here. And he's like, for what? She's like, well, they're looking at your truck. So I don't know. He's like, what the fuck? Okay. So he comes down there. So Darrell gets over there and they're like, uh, is this your truck? He's like, yeah. They're like, license registration. He's like, uh, no, uh, I'm, I'm not driving it. It's parked on private property. So they continue to be like, well, we were in the tag, and it's not yours. You worked around up church? And he's like, what does it matter? And they're like, well, this is his truck. It's tagged. At this moment, it's tagged and titled to Robert. So Robert's like, no, it's mine. The tag goes to me. It was given to me by Ryan up church, but this truck is mine. Keep in mind, it ain't like Deardorff just whipped it into his sister's driveway and dipped. This truck has already been here for hours. He, he's down the street doing something else. So pretty much Deardorff and his sister are like, you know, whatever, get off of our property. We didn't do anything. Stop looking at shit for no reason. And they leave. <clears throat> All right, next thing. So about five months ago, I have a blue Fastback Mustang. I, I'm sure some of y'all have seen it. It's, a, it's pretty much a project car. It ain't perfect. It's got like dry rotted weather strippings. The windshield's cracked, uh, water leaks in through it or whatever. And I knew it was somewhere at my dad's shop, but I want to make sure it wasn't outside. So I hit my dad up. He's asleep. He's like, hello. And I'm like, yo, can I go down to the shop and get the blue Mustang? He's like, uh, yeah, yeah, the keys are in it. I was like, okay. So I drove to the shop. I don't remember what time it was. It was nighttime. I drove to the shop. I'm like, where the fuck is my car? And then I look at my dad's race trailer. It was in there. And I was like, well, fuck, I'm already here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this mug. So I go to take it out of the race car trailer, and I take a picture of the back of the car. So I get the car, I get it started, I let it warm up, and I start driving it back to Ashland City. And I was like, fuck, dude, I'm so hungry. And I called Bethany, and I was like, you want anything from Sonic? She's like, no. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to Sonic real quick, because I'm starving. So I whip it in Sonic. I pull in. I click the button. I sit there and wait two, three minutes. They answer the button. I ordered my food. That took another 10 or 15 minutes because I'm pretty sure they were shutting down their stuff. And they're like, fuck, you know, homie showed up. Let's get him some food. So I waited like 10 or 15 minutes. And this girl brings me my food out. And I get my food. And I'm actually grabbing the food. Like, at this point, it's already been like fucking 15, 17 minutes. I'm gra I grab my food. 
I didn't even put my straw in yet, bro. So about this time, I see this cop rolling down the street. And he pulls into Sonic. And I was like, the fuck? And he pulls around Sonic. Private property, by the way. My car is off, by the way. Been off. Done been sitting there for a while. Which is why the car hop is giving me my food as he's behind me. Dude flips his blue lights on. I'm like, uh, excuse me, what? He comes up. He's like, do you know why I pulled you over? I said, bro, you didn't pull me over. Like, I've been sick. Fuck it. Well, look at the video. Now, as you're watching the video, watch my choice of words because I trick him into telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you. You can keep the change. Yes, ma'am. You too? All right, so I'm just getting my food. You mean to tell me that clicking the button, waiting for the car hop, ordering your food, then making your food and your drink and bringing it out to you is faster than the cops? If he was behind you, no. Bro, he had to be watching my Instagram and he had to see the picture that I posted before I left my dad's house. Then he just came looking for me, I guess. You too. Good, thank you. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Good. He's gonna stop me, man. He's gonna stop me. Sir. He didn't stop me out of the park. I didn't see you and I stopped you. That was his quick thinking reaction, which pretty much means, no, I didn't see you driving the car, but I seen you post a picture of the car, and I came to find you, and I pulled you over. I didn't see you, then I stopped you. You see how that works? So then, I repeat back to him what he just said, and he changes the subject. You didn't say me. I don't have any women. Got it. It's in my name now. You can run it. Run up church. Just my luck. Park. Two P's or one P. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, uh. You spell up with two P's? Has anyone ever done that? Uh, like you? No, just one dude. Do you have any paperwork on the car? What is it, a or anything like that? Do I have any paperwork with the uh, possibly the VIN? Well, I just told you that I don't have paperwork. That should have answered that. And if you're looking for a VIN number, maybe you should look on the car I'm driving. Most of them have a VIN number at the bottom of the windshield, bugging. <laughs> so then I see the old drive-out tag laying on the floor. And I was like, I'm going to see what this motherfucker says about this. So I just pick it up and act like I'm looking at it. Knowing that the drive-out tag cannot help me with anything at this moment. Listen to what he says. Yes, Captain Obvious. Drive-out tag old. Which is why it's not on the back. Fucking. So at that point, I'm like, uh, okay. So I'm like, whatever, man. All right, give me the fucking ticket or whatever. I don't know, man. You just give me a ticket for all of it. Okay. Try not to. What do you mean you're trying to? Well, I'm well, trying not to. Uh, no, you're trying to. Dude, look at the video. The sonic lights are even off. They're off, dude. It's, it, I'm sitting in darkness. Do you realize where I'm at? You can't even ride behind me. It's parking lot, grass, and then it goes up a little bit, like two feet, and it's a whole ass another parking lot. I seen you pull in Sonic because you were coming from the opposite direction. You were coming from where Ashland City Police Department is. Gee, not to mention the window of time of 15 fucking minutes where I'm sitting there by myself. I mean, what more evidence do you need to prove that you were sitting somewhere not doing your job, scrolling through fucking Instagram, seeing what Ryan Upchurch is doing? Now look at the situation we're about to get into. The situation that happened tonight. By the way, I have security guards in my house. A couple weeks ago, they were like, hey, yo, uh, do you have a friend cop supposed to be coming over or something? I'm like, no, why? They're like, well, this Ashland City police car keeps driving by your house really fucking slow. So I'm like, what the fuck? What? Why? So at this point, I start asking around town, like, other people they know this guy literally hear nothing good about it so apparently for some reason he was a cop here 
and then wasn't a cop here, and then now he's a cop here again. So then some other cops around here, I'm like, yo, you know what I think about this guy? And they're like, yeah, he's kind of, he refers to himself as bloodhound and shit like that. I'm like, all right. Then I talked to this other kid around town. He's like, yeah, last time he pulled me over, he was like, you know, they refer to me as bloodhound. Why is a cop acting like that, bro? This ain't the movie Old Henry, fucking. Okay, fast forward to tonight. Another incident with Officer Jeremy Long. I leave my house. I go to the kangaroo. I pull up to the kangaroo. I'm trying to find my key so when I get out, I can lock my door and it can still be running so it'll still be warm. It's cold as fuck outside. So I get out of my car and I look around because I'm always like to be aware of my surroundings. There's two cars there. One's pulled up beside me. One's at the gas pump behind me. I see a Ashland City cop car coming down the street. And as he's coming down the street, he like quickly turns into the bank across the street. Pulls into a parking spot and cuts his fucking lights off. I was like, really, bruh? Like, hello. You just whipped it in there because you seen me, fucking. I seen what time it was. I knew who it was. It was Jeremy Long. Captain Obvious. He's definitely going to pull me over. I know who it is. Look what he just did. He's pretty much being like, I'm about to pull you over. So before I went live, I went on my video camera. Because I knew what was about to happen. Look what happened. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, you're about as sneaky as a fucking drunk elephant in a room full of glass china. So here's the pullover video from tonight. Oh God, what time was it? What time was it? Uh, at 1.30? Yeah, at 1.30 at night time with, uh, you know, no light whatsoever. You, I pulled you over for your window tent because I automatically know how dark they are at night time. Um, what do you need? All right, you guys. Well, no, a little secret. I actually did have it. I just didn't want to give it to him because it's the other video. I didn't give it to him either. That time I didn't have it. I had it tonight, but I just said I didn't. Just want to give him a little flashback of last time, you know? Since he's bothering me, I can have a little innocent fun. You don't need that flavor on the I just bought it and get the tags in. I ain't got nothing on it. This dude fucking fucks with me all the goddamn time. That's the same cop, yes. The same one. So he's back there, like, spending 11 five years in his car doing whatever the fuck he's doing. And then I was like, I wonder if he's watching my Instagram like last time. Now keep in mind, he already told me my window tent was too dark. He ain't calibrated it or nothing. So I say this on my live, just to see if he's back there watching my live stream. He just told me my window tent was too dark at nighttime and didn't even calibrate it to check. Right after I say that, what does he do? He gets out of his car and is like, oh, let me check and see how tinted your windows are. Bro, look at the look on my face. At this moment, I'm like, Holy shit, this dude sits around and stalks my fucking social media. So I'm like, uh, I'm putting my fucking hands in the camera, bro. So this dude don't shoot my ass. Put this one up, son. Put this one back down, son. Both hands. 12%. 12%. Spray 5% every window all around the Except your front. Front stuff's going to be dead. He said your front windshield looks like it's tinted. Uh, I can't tell. Well, you're standing right in front of it with a flashlight on your belt. Why don't you just get your flashlight and see if it's tinted? You know? So he's about to change his mind and be like, oh, never mind, it says 0% tint, not 8 
You mean to tell me your ass can't read a calibrator that's right in front of you? But you can sit at a parking lot across the street, and when I leave, in the darkness of 1.30 at night, you can see that my windows are too tinted? Okay. So that's, that's why I stopped you. Jeremy Long, Officer Jeremy Long, that's why I stopped you. Uh, but, uh, but I'm not going to give you a fucking ticket for tent, even though that's why I stopped you in the first place. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude, and then he asks me for my phone number. What is your phone number? Uh, what do you need that for? Because they want to see the phone number, they want to call James James. They can call you and let you know the court date has changed. No, sir. No, 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 no. I have never, ever been asked, what is your phone number? When you get pulled up, a cop is supposed to ask you for your phone number if you are a victim of a crime or a witness to a crime. This is getting pulled over for window tint. And then his excuse for it is, oh, so they uh, can call you if uh, your court date changes? Uh, no. Who the fuck is they? You're not going to tell me who they is? Oh, and by the way, this is fucking weird if you ask me. Since the last time I got fucking pulled over by him, when I was at Sonic, I called down there to Ashland City Municipal Court, and I was like, hey, I need to know what my court date is uh, from the last time I got pulled over by Jeremy Long. And the lady's like, oh, uh, you just don't have to worry about that. What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean? It just, it just disappeared? So, I straight up asked him about it. On camera. Alright, why, why did our other uh, court date between me and you get cancelled? But you're aware it was cancelled, right? Alright. They don't tell me that anything canceled unless somebody pleads not guilty. I don't go to court. So at this point, I'm like, bro, do I even want to go to the fucking gym? And I was like, you know what? At the end of this video, I'm going to mention one last time that I'm going to the gym. Let's see if he comes past the gym to see if I'm there. All right. I'm going to the gym now. So I get to the gym, I sit there about five, ten minutes, what do you think happens? Oh my, are you fucking serious? Driving by the gym. Dude is driving by the gym. I mean dude, if it looks like a zebra and sounds like a zebra, most of the time it's a zebra. There's just too many like what the fucks, you know what I mean? Like I don't know what the deal is. But I feel like I'm being stalked by a cop who is a hater, bruh. There can be haters. It don't matter. They can still wear fucking cop uniforms. It doesn't automatically make you not a hater. Especially with Ashland City Police Department pulling people over and asking them to call me, what the fuck, to falsely pulling me over. Like, bro, you were not behind me. I'd already been at Sonic for ugh, a long time. You just decided to just look at my Instagram, I guess, and then... Come find me. That's also weird. Then, you pull me over again. In the middle of the night, for window tent. And you were giving me, in the process of giving me a fucking ticket for window tent, and you ain't even calibrated it yet. And then when I say that on the live, while you got me pulled over, you get out of your car, and then come calibrate it. Then, you can't even read the calibrator. So how did you see me, <laughs> you know what I mean? You see, how did you see that in the darkness? Then I mentioned going to the gym after you pull me over. Who's to say you didn't get back in your car and fucking and see me say that and then decide to ride by the gym to fucking intimidate me or freak me out? This cop, Jeremy Long, needs to be fired. Here's the fucking proof. Good God. And listen, if there's an uh, investigation going on because I got a song called Rolling Stone and I smoke a little bit of fucking pot sometimes, you are the worst 
fucking investigator of all time, bloodhound. I know one thing. This cop keeps pulling me over. I'm fucking leaving Cheatham County, and I ain't fucking coming back. Because you know why? Yeah, I might smoke a little pot here and there, but there's way bigger issues in this town. Just Google Cheatham County News. There's way worse shit than a guy going to the gym, fucking. Bro, we have a horrible overdose rate here. We have fucking meth dealers, fucking heroin dealers, uh, kids doing meth and heroin, even kids in fucking the high schools around here. Random dead bodies being burnt in the back of cars. Don't believe me? Google the shit and you'll see it yourself. And when do you think all this shit goes on? Fucking nighttime. But no, instead of worrying about that shit, you go follow around the goddamn singer dude who smokes weed and who's trying to go to the gym and run. <sighs> Fuck this. I, he pulls me over one more time. I'm, I'm fucking leaving this town, but first I'm going to sue the shit out of his ass.